नेक्स्ट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ मैटर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टी मैटर कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इनटू थ्री ग्रुप्स एज सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैस एंड सिमिलरली ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज मैटर कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इनटू थ्री ग्रुप्स एलिमेंट कंपाउंड एंड मिक्स वेरी ग्रेट साइंटिस्ट ही 
took a piece of iron i repeat he took a piece of iron broken down continuously into simpler one finally he got a smallest part of smallest smallest portion of this iron which was not further divisible he gave this smallest part of iron uh, he gave the name of this smallest part of iron as iron atom according to him according to him atoms are the smallest particle atoms are the smallest particle of any matter according to john dalton atoms are the smallest particle of any matter means all matters are made up of these smallest particles called dot uh, called atoms so we can say that the smallest particle of gold is gold atom the smallest particle of iron is iron atom smallest particle of gold is gold atom and and iron is smallest particle of gold and iron we can write as the smallest particle of gold and iron is gold atom and iron atom respectively iron atom respectively okay but think about but think about the smallest particle of water is the smallest particle of water is water atom no because water is not made up of only one kind of atom water is made up of two atoms of hydrogen and one atoms of oxygen one molecule of water is made up of Uh, two more two atoms of hydrogen and one atoms of oxygen so we can't say so we can't say that uh, smallest particle of water is water atom because it is not made up of only single atom it is made up of two different kind of atom it is made up of two different kind of atoms hydrogen and oxygen so so we uh, so first thing Uh, first thing here come uh, coming is what molecules so we can now define elements compounds and molecules one by one element and compound so first of all element we can define element as a substance a substance which is made up of only one kind of atoms a substance which is made up of only one kind of atoms and cannot be broken down into similar substances by chemical method we can write here as a substance a substance which is made up of a substance which is made up of only one kind of atoms be broken 
broken down and can and can't be broken into into simpler substances into simpler substances by chemical method by chemical method is called is called an element example iron tfi gold au etc once again a substance which is made up of only one kind of atom and can't be broken into simpler substances by chemical method is called an element one should we know one should we know in last topic uh, in last topic that atoms are atoms are very very small they are so small that we can't imagine their size they are they can't be seen even with the high power of microscope so we can say that atoms are atoms are small beyond our imagination atoms ke size ke bare mein hum imagination bhi nahi kar sakte hum kafi chote hote hain high power of microscope se bhi hum log nahi dekh pate hain atoms ko okay now our next topic elemental compound a substance which is made up of only one kind of atom and can't be broken into simpler substances by chemical method is called an element as for example iron if we take a piece of iron if you take a piece of iron then then which things should come in our mind things that should come in our mind is is iron this piece of iron is made up of two or more than two types of atoms actually iron piece which we take jo log hum log lete hain this iron piece is made up of only one kind of atom iron 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 and only iron so only one kind of atom is involved in formation of iron uh, element that's why we say that iron is a element now next one compound so a substance a substance which is made up of which is made up of two or more elements Sugar, sodium chloride—that is common salt. These are 
compound. Why these are compound? Why this? Why these three are here compound? Because see water. In the water, there are two types of elements involved: hydrogen and oxygen. And here three types of elements are involved: carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Here two types of elements are involved: sodium and chlorine. That's why they all and also we can see here that they are in fixed ratio. These elements are combined chemically when hydrogen and oxygen combine chemically, then they form water. When hydrogen and oxygen combine chemically, then they combine chemically in fixed ratio, then only then only they form water molecules. We can see here that two atoms of hydrogen and one atoms of oxygen are involved. That is the ratio of Number of atoms is here two is to one. Similarly, here twelve atoms of carbon, twenty-two atoms of hydrogen, and eleven atoms of oxygen are involved. When this ratio will uh, will come together, then only sugar will form. Similarly, here sodium is sodium chloride. Ratio of number of atoms of sodium and chlorine is one is to one. That is when one atom of sodium and one atom of chlorine, when this ratio one is to one will be occur chemically, then only sodium chloride will form. Okay. Now uh, we are talking we we are talking about smallest particle, smallest particle called atom, atom, atom. Similarly here. The smallest particle of an element, the smallest particle of an element is atom. But can we say that the smallest particle of compound is atom? No, we can't say the smallest particle of compound is atom. Why? Because compound is not made up of only one kind of atom. Compound is made up of two or more than two types of two kinds of atoms. That's why we can't say that. Smallest particle of compound is atom. So, what uh, what will we say? हम लोग क्या कहेंगे? We will say the smallest particle of compound is molecule. What will we say? The smallest particle of compound is molecule, and the smallest particle of an element is atom. Smallest Particle of an element is atom, and smallest and the smallest particle of compound. एलिमेंट है एलिमेंट है एलिमेंट है ये कंपाउंड है और ये कंपाउंड है अभी तो सर 
उसका आपने जस्ट बताया कि ये एलिमेंट है एलिमेंट है एलिमेंट है कंपाउंड एंड कंपाउंड है सो so, फिर हम लोग कैसे कर सकते हैं कि ये मोलिकुल है एक्चुअली ये वन ओ टू रिप्रेजेंट कर रहा है वन मोलिकुल ऑफ ऑक्सीजन को इफ यू टेक यदि हम लेते हैं इफ यू टेक सम इफ यू टेक सम अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर इवन वन ड्रॉप ऑफ वॉटर इवन वन ड्रॉप ऑफ वॉटर कंटेन्स अप्रोक्सीमेटली 10 to the power 21 molecules of water. 10 to the power 21 means 10 into 10 into 10 into how how many times? 21 times. So when 10 to the power 21 molecules of water, approximately when 10 to the power 21 molecules of water, then this is 2 H2O 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 H2O. In this way, when 10 to the power 21 molecules of water will come combine. Together chemically, then only one drop of water will form. So we can say that, so we can say that smallest particle of compound is molecule, and the smallest particle of an element is atom. But when atom combine together, then they form molecule, and when these molecules are combined, then they form compound. Okay. Now molecules may be of an element. Molecules may be of a compound. Molecules may be of an element, and molecules may be of compound. These mo these molecules are of an element, of an of element, and which are. Of compound. These molecules are of element. Means when oxygen, 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 oxygen combine together chemically, then they form element. And when water molecule, water molecule, water molecule combine chemically, so many water molecules combine chemically, then they form water compound. Our next topic is how elements form compound. How elements form compound. How elements form compound. Think. About the letters of alphabet, we know that there are 26 letters of alphabet, and these 26 letters join, combine, and form millions of words, thousands of words. In the same way, in the same way, these elements combine. In the same way, these elements combine chemically to form millions of compounds. To form millions of compound. As for example, as for example, when hydrogen and oxygen combine chemically, they form what? Water. Water is a compound. Here hydrogen is an element, oxygen is an element. One element, one element. Here two types of elements are involved in this chemical reaction and they form a single compound water. So in this way, in this way, so many elements combine together and form compound. So we write here. Now our next topic is 
Now our next topic is occurrence of these elements. We will talk about occurrence. We will talk about occurrence. So we can understand this topic as in earth crust. In earth crust, occurrence in earth crust. In our, in our Earth's crust, oxygen is present at 46%, the silicon is present at 27%, aluminium 8%, here iron 6%, calcium 5%, magnesium 3% and others 5%. the percentage distribution of element in the earth crust. We can study it as occurrence in earth crust, oxygen is present in earth crust in, in the amount of 46%, silicon 27%, ammonium 8%, iron 6%, calcium 5%, magnesium 3% and others 5%. This is the percentage distribution of different elements in the earth crust. These all are elements. Now we come to the next point, something about atoms and molecules, atoms and molecules. So atoms are the, atoms are the particle atom is the smallest particle of an element atom is the smallest particle of an element which can't be broken into simpler one Which 
exist normally independently. Means, the smallest particle of any element, but this term independently भी exist कर सकता है और independently exist नहीं भी कर सकता है कहने का मतलब कि atom जो है वो combined state में भी exist कर सकता है या free state में भी exist कर सकता है single single भी exist कर सकता है या किसी और के साथ में combined होता करके भी जुड़ा हुआ रह सकता है atom लेकिन molecule जो होता है ये normally exist करता है independently as for example H2O molecule, CO2 molecules ग्लूकोज मॉलिक्यूल्स शुगर मॉलिक्यूल्स एक्सेट्रा ये इंडिपेंडेंटली एग्जिस्ट करते हैं लेकिन एटम्स एक्चुअली सम एटम्स आर वेरी रिएक्टिव एंड सम आर नॉट मोस्ट ऑफ द एटम्स आर वेरी रिएक्टिव दैट्स व्हाई दे आर फाउंड इन कंबाइंड स्टेट वो सिंगल सिंगल नहीं पाया जाएगा वो किसी और दूसरे एटम से कंबाइंड होकर केमिकली और वो एग्जिस्ट करता है कंबाइंड uh, फॉर्म में वो फ्री फॉर्म में एग्जिस्ट नहीं करता लेकिन कुछ मेटल कुछ एटम्स जो है वो फ्री फॉर्म में भी एग्जिस्ट करते हैं बिकॉज़ उनकी रिएक्टिविटी काफी कम होती है सो मॉलिक्यूल इज द स्मॉलेस्ट पार्टिकल ऑफ अ कंपाउंड व्हिच एग्जिस्ट नॉर्मली इंडिपेंडेंटली आफ्टर दिस ये चीज याद रखिए ये जो एटम है ना एटम स्मॉलेस्ट पार्टिकल होता तो है एलिमेंट का लेकिन हम लोग कहते हैं एटम 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 एटम्स जनरली एग्जिस्ट नहीं करता है इंडिपेंडेंटली uh, वो हमेशा मैक्सिमम टाइम मोस्ट ऑफ द मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस में वो कंबाइंड स्टेट में ही पाया जाएगा नाउ प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कंपाउंड Into its 
constituent elements elements by chemical means or chemical method this is the first property means compound ko hum log singular singular uh, compounds ko hum log uske constituent element mein constituent elements matlab वो जिस एलिमेंट से मिलके बना हुआ है कंपाउंड जिस एलिमेंट से मिलके बना हुआ है सोडियम क्लोराइड का कंस्टिट्यूएंट एलिमेंट क्या हो जाएगा सोडियम एंड क्लोरीन सोडियम एंड क्लोरीन सो कंपाउंड कैन बी ब्रोकन डाउन इनटू इनटू इट्स कंस्टिट्यूएंट एलिमेंट बाय केमिकल मेथड सेकेंड कंपाउंड कंपाउंड ऑलवेज कंटेन्स compounds compound always contains same element same element same kind of element in fixed ratio as for example if we take water वाटर कंपाउंड सो वाटर कंपाउंड ऑलवेज कंटेन वाटर मोलिकूल आइदर दिस वाटर इज आइदर दिस वाटर इज फ्रॉम सी और फ्रॉम टैप और फ्रॉम लेक पानी कहीं का भी हो वो हमेशा वाटर मोलिकूल को ही कंटेन करेगा मीन्स हाइड्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन एटम ही उसमें इन्वॉल्व होंगे टू एच टू वन के रेशियो में सो so, कंपाउंड्स ऑलवेज कंटेन सेम काइंड ऑफ एलिमेंट हमेशा एक ही तरह के वो एलिमेंट से चाहे पानी कहीं का भी हो उसमें वाटर मोलिकुल से ही होगा उसमें हाइड्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन एलिमेंट ही होगा बट वो फिक्स्ड रेशियो में होगा एंड थर्ड प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ कंपाउंड इज कंपाउंड्स हैव डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टी कंपाउंड्स हैव डिफरेंट प्रोपर्टीज Compounds have different property as its constituent element, as its constituent elements. Means compound की property बिल्कुल अलग होगी उसके constituent elements से. जिस element से मिलके वो compound बना है, उस element की property, उन elements की property और इस compound की property में काफी ज़्यादा difference होगा. As for example, if we take हाइड्रोजन प्लस ऑक्सीजन एरो एच टू ओ वी कैन सी ही हाइड्रोजन बॉन्स विथ पॉप साउंड हाइड्रोजन बॉन्स विथ पॉप साउंड ऑक्सीजन इज सपोर्टर ऑफ कंबर्शन हाइड्रोजन बॉन्स दिस इज सपोर्टर ऑफ कंबर्शन एंड दिस इज वॉट दिस विल पुट ऑफ द फायर ये आग बुझाने में काम आता है ये सपोर्टर है कंबर्शन का बर्निंग का और ये तो जलता ही है खुद सिमिलरली इफ यू टेक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सोडियम क्लोराइड सोडियम क्लोराइड देन सोडियम क्लोराइड इज मेड अप ऑफ सोडियम एंड क्लोरीन टू टाइप्स ऑफ एलिमेंट्स सोडियम एंड वॉट क्लोरीन सी एल टू सो हियर सोडियम इज टॉक्सिक सब्सटेंस क्लोरीन इज ऑल्सो वेरी टॉक्सिक बट सोडियम क्लोराइड इज नॉट टॉक्सिक इट इज यूज इट इज यूज इन अवर एवरीडे लाइफ सो वी कैन से दैट सोडियम क्लोराइड आइडर कंपाउंड इज सोडियम क्लोराइड और वॉटर they have different property they have different properties as its constituent elements so today we see today we know and aaj dekha hai kya ki matter hota kya hai what is matter uska classification and then after us classification ke baad hum logo ne dekha what is matter made up of matter aakhir kis cheez se bana hua hai obviously All matters are made up of a smallest particle of it, a smallest particles called atoms. After this, we have seen the appearance. Then we have seen the elements and compounds. Then we have seen the property of the compound. Thank you.